Hello, welcome back to another Artifacts video. And this time, I want to look at the camera again. Uh, we're going to look at a different camera, though. We're going to look at a one-node camera. Uh, so the difference between one-node and two-node, uh, kind of straightforward. If we look at the transform settings here, uh, you'll notice that uh, if we change that to two-node, there's a point of interest. So this has no point of interest. So we're moving the camera. And this is kind of, I guess, for close control of moving objects. Uh, it's a bit like point and shoot. All right, so the camera at the moment, it looks like it's in a good position. Um, we could obviously move it a bit closer as well. Uh, we could move it a bit down. Uh, we could also do a rotation on the Z if we wanted to do that. Move it a little bit across. So there's different things that you can do with the camera. You could use the rotate tool um, with this one. So for instance, uh, if we deselect, you can see you can you can click and hold, and then you can actually actually start to rotate. Uh, now when you rotate, so when you rotate, you can see we're changing the orientation. Uh, if we do rotation here, you can see now we're changing the the rotation values. Um, now, say we want to focus on something. Uh, so typically, I guess you want to maybe work with orientation. So we'll do that for this one. Um, so we'll set our orientation here, and we're going to focus maybe on this moth here. So let's maybe focus on the moth. So it's kind of different, like because before you had the uh, the point of interest with the two point, and you could focus on the moth. But if we want to focus on the moth now, we need to sort of get into position. We can sort of like. Uh, work out exactly where that is going to be. There's one way you could perhaps focus on a particular object that you wanted. You can see what the camera is doing. It's basically right, the camera is literally right in front. Um, you could also, this actually might be an interesting time to look at the different presets as well. So if I did say a 15 millimeter, you can see it's further away because the angle of view is so high. 20 millimeter. All right, so we'll be, we'll be way too close here. You can see it goes off miles in the distance. You can see how short, by the way, the, the, the little ones are. You can see um, it really hasn't got much distance to go. I think like in terms of 1080p, you might want to use uh, probably a 24 is probably not a bad choice. Something like that might, not, might, might work fairly well. Lots of different options, of course, of things that you could do to really get like a good look for that. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I'll be back in the next video.